Hi, my name is Paul Kinvig. I'm the Chief Operating Officer for the Bournemouth Town Centre Bid. And in our series of videos talking to levy payers, I'm absolutely delighted to be here today at Funky Griller. Now, those of you who have been in and around Bournemouth for years will know Funky Griller as one of the restaurants. It's been almost a staple part of the food offering for Bournemouth. Uh, but they've recently changed premises, which um, is a big shout in the current conditions. Um, and the premises are bigger as well. So I thought it'd be really good to chat to Adam and to Reese. Adam's head chef here, Reese runs the business. Um, just to talk a little bit about the, about the move and the business and what it's like. So guys, you are <laughs> two weeks in. Um, what's it been like? Busy. <laughs> <laughs> that was said with a degree of like terror as well. Crazy yeah. to move in January. So, yeah, it's a big shout back to move. Yeah, a uh, lot of hard work. Yeah. But over the last six, seven years, we've built quite a you know, good client base and yep. we've seen them even, even the last two weeks, they come through the doors, we check the new place out, even just have a look around, have a drink, see what's going on and check the new place out. So that's you know, very positive feedback and it's been good. It must be hard work though, because you've got so much, apart from just a brand new layout, you've got a whole bunch of stuff like tills and serving to, and tables and all that kind of stuff. How, how's that been? It's been a steep learning curve. Yeah, because obviously I've kept the same team as much as I could from A to B. Um, but obviously the new till systems, um, the workflow of the restaurant, table numbers, little things like that which was second nature in the old place. And I'm going to take a few things a second to think about each process and that. But we're getting quicker, we're getting more, more used to it and that thing and yeah. So even though the surroundings change, um, I'm tempted to say kind of the food stays the same. Is that right or have you done some different stuff with the food? Uh, we've just stuck to what we're good at. Uh, the menu stayed the same as it is uh, for the move, so we, we haven't scared anyone away. Um, it's a new venue, hopefully the same places. Um, uh, we, will, we will change when it comes to spring, summer, just to mix it up a bit. But yeah, we're the same menu um, that everyone loved for all these years. Do you source locally? Well, yeah, all, all our uh, food is sourced locally. Our, our butcher's based in Parkstone. All he gets from all local farms in Hampshire, Wiltshire, Dorset. Oh, uh, local fruit and veg man comes every day. And of course, fresh fish. Um, yeah. Do you still enjoy it, even yeah. for this long? When it, when it comes to 8 o'clock on a Saturday night and you see a queue at the door and you see the happy people, that's why we love the open kitchen. They can just come and say hello. We've got the live music on. Yeah, and the atmosphere is great. Great food. And the feeling as well, especially when they leave and they shake your hands, from the chef's, hot plate, sh chef's hands, you've actually yeah. made a difference. And that feeling alone make, makes it worthwhile. So, <laughs> why move? Uh, because, you know, you've got a successful place up there, well established. Um, retailing in any kind of uh, sector is tough at the moment. So, you go, I know what we'll do, we'll move in January. Oh, and well, we'll go to a bigger place as well. Yeah. The accessibility into the restaurant alone, yep. you know, it was up three flights of stairs, it wasn't lift access. So the elderly and disabled pretty much excluded. Um, I think we lost quite a bit of trade from that. And it was a bit out the way, out of sight. Yeah. Bit of a hidden gem in a way. Um, here it's a bit more in your face, a bit smarter as, as you come in, a bit more welcoming, warm. Mm -hmm. And that should you know, progress the business as well. So, I mean, it's open now. You can hear the background phone, you know, phones going, customers are coming in and so forth. So my final question to both of you, and I'm going to come to you second now because you're the, you're the chef on this. So if you were coming in here as a customer, what dish would you order? Personally, I like the ribeye steak. Okay. So on the, on the scheme of steaks, the steak's got the most flavour, nice and tender, and obviously the way they got these guys cook it in the kitchen, spot on as well. So. Okay. Throw a steak. Go on, chef. I'd love to come in for dinner. <laughs> 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 Never had that opportunity. Um, but yeah, I mean... What would you go for? Because you cook stuff, and your team cooks yeah, stuff. I, I would so say what would you go for? We, we do a platter that uh, two people can share. Mm -hmm. um, they can try a bit of everything now. Okay, guys. It's been a joy to talk to you. Thanks ever so much. Good luck with the new place. Um, I mean, I've eaten here before, and you know, you know what I think of it. I think it's fantastic. So, I really, really, every, every good wish for it. Um, and hopefully, you know, it goes from strength to strength in terms of where you are. Thanks, guys. Cheers, Thank Paul. you very much. Thank Cheers, you. Mate. Thank you.